Okay, so the awareness for the week is to be mindful of any problems or situations that may arise. And so the Page of Swords here is telling you to be prepared, to be on guard. And you can see he's looking over in this direction. He's got his sword at the ready, cloudy uh, clouds, cloudy skies, and wind. And so this is a sense of, um, you know, if something arises, use your head, use your smarts, use your intelligence to problem solve, to think of new approaches perhaps, uh, new strategies, but there's certainly a sense here of trying to figure things out in a logical fashion because swords, it's about logic, it's about reason, it's about finding clarity and finding clarity through truth. So look at facts, look at figures, look at what's real and what's there. As you face any challenges and obstacles coming your way. So we, we have the Queen of Pentacles and she brings, in addition to this uh, defensive or I'm ready for whatever happens, she brings this very experienced and mature wisdom and it's the wisdom of common sense. So it's a nice compliment to the analytical side. Here's the warm and loving and caring, nurturing queen with her energy of uh, enjoying comfort, enjoying beauty, enjoying nature, spending time in nature, finding peacefulness in nature. She's very capable, she's resourceful, She's able to multitask. She can handle the demands of the family, the demands of the job, the demands of the community. So with all of these things together, she's, as she's making things work, she's not forgetting about people. And she's not forgetting to touch base with maybe those that might need a phone call or might need a supportive email. So, you know, this queen is interested in comforts, so you, in addition to reaching out to people that you care about or looking after them, providing some nurturing to them, this may be a situation where you feel that you have to pay attention to uh, the comforts within your life, maybe beautifying your home, uh, updating your wardrobe, you know, things that are going to make you feel pleasure, going to make you feel good. So now we're going to choose two cards for guidance. Okay. Ace of Swords, gift or blessing from the universe. And the Ace of Swords, here's this powerful blade for you. So similar to the Page of Swords, who's going to use his thinking, here's the, the universe telling you to be, to be um, allowing your ideas to flourish, allowing your ideas to grow. This is a card about clarity, clear communication, and new ideas, new approaches. So you may have an idea for a business and you might be writing up a business plan or a business proposal. You might be pulling facts and figures and demographic data. You know, this is about understanding the issues and doing your homework and having the details. So here this blade is very sharp and it's the sharpness of, of allowing you to see all sides of an issue. Whether it's a problem or whether it's a happy problem that you're trying to figure out in order to improve your lifestyle or to improve your work, you know, it's about thinking and it's, um, you know, it's informed thinking, I would say. So we also have, in terms of guidance, we have the Seven of Cups. And with cups, we have uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, water signs, dealing with emotions. And you can see the man here, his hands are outreached. He's looking at all the cups that have all the cool things within them. And he's thinking, my oh my, I have so many options here. And there are times when you're, you're daydreaming and you, and you feel like this. And there are times when you're playing the what if game. What if I did this? How would that turn out? Or 
what if I, you know, it's like, what if I won the lottery? This is what I might do. And there's no harm in daydreaming. There's no harm in dreaming big. But the thing to be aware of is that if we just simply daydream and if we fantasize and if we create this alternate reality, but we never do anything, then, you know, we really never move forward. So here you may have many options. You may feel that you have a lot of options. Ultimately, you, want to, you may want to move forward to choosing an option, to honing in on something that you can bring to life. And if you're able to do that, then you can revisit some of the options, other options here and go back and work on those. So um, there's a lot of power in the idea of visualizing. And when we visualize options, it stimulates our thinking. And it, it gets us to think outside of our normal little box that we're contained in. So, you know, take that for what it's worth, which is it's wonderful to think about all the options, but don't let it derail you by doing nothing. Try to hone in on, on something so that you can bring it to fruition. So now let's look at possible outcomes. Okay, so we have the Six of Swords. In the Six of Swords, we see the pair, the cloaked pair here being transported. The oarsman is helping push the boat along. And they're moving from rough waters to calmer waters. And really, this is a card of transition. This could be where you've decided that wherever you are right now, it's not working. It's not working for you and you need to move on. And you need to maybe physically pick up your bags and go somewhere different. So this could be temporary. This Maybe this involves a trip for you to, to gather your thoughts, to allow yourself some space, or it could be more permanent where you are really saying, this situation doesn't serve me anymore. I need to roll out of here. I need to leave. And uh, on a literal level, again, it could be travel by boat. It could be taking a trip. But it also can suggest that if there's a situation that is unpleasant, that is toxic, that is draining you, that is to take leave of it. So, you know, I always use this example that it's, if people are gossiping within a community or a group that you're involved with, that you can take time away from that group. You can move on and get yourself out of that situation. That's a transition too. So just be mindful that there's a sense of movement here and that perhaps as a result of all of your thinking and options, one of your options is to move, move forward, move on, to find calmer, more peaceful, satisfying waters. So along the way, here's the energy of the Queen of Cups. So this Queen of Cups could be someone within your midst. It could be someone who is a water sign, someone who is older and experienced and uh, intuitive and very supportive, who would be willing to listen to you tell your story, to give you advice and to appreciate where you're coming from emotionally. So she is a kind queen. She is uh, pretty much in charge of her emotions and there's a nice um, sweet flow to her life. And so you can benefit from the Queen of Cups energy. First of all, she is represents unconditional love. And that means friendship love. Uh, all types of love. And so that support, again, support through love and through compassion and caring. You have two queens here who pro provide a lot of love, who provide a lot of support. The queen of cups through more of intuitive and emotional uh, understanding. And the queen of pentacles through common sense, connecting with things that bring you pleasure nurturing, proactively reaching out. So I feel that there's a sense here that when you are making an informed decision and choosing, making one of these choices here, 
And as you're moving out, that you're going to be getting support from someone wiser, perhaps, uh, who is a good counsel to you, who is coming from an intuitive and loving place, the Queen of Cups. So interesting, as we look through this, we see, I always try to look at what's not there. What's not there uh, is wands, is the wand suit. We also don't have any majors. So, you know, Virgo, this is a week for you to be prepared for things that are happening, to use your head, to be pragmatic in addition to being smart, and facing options, perhaps making a choice, and that's going to involve some movement for you or, or some change where you need to, to get away from a situation that isn't helping you. Okay, let's get more information from the Oracle cards. And this is a focus area or meditation point for the week. Wise leader, you are a beacon for others. So this is a great card. And we see some leadership here with the queens. And, you know, we think of wisdom uh, with the king and the queens in the, in the court cards. So uh, you are a beacon for others. So I would say that by your actions, by what you do, people notice and um, could be a positive influence on others. So now let's see where you are emotionally or from the spirit side. You are not alone. We are here for you. We never left. Through all the sadness and loneliness, however, you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family, friends, and guides. You never walk alone. We walk right beside you. So what's coming through in this reading is a sense of support, of support being needed. Support from spirit, support from wiser people who can provide unconditional love compassion, and a little bit of nurturing for you. So let's get a card and let's see what the message is for love for you. Love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. So... Healing past hurts, moving away from a situation that doesn't serve you, trying to find some peace, some tranquility, you know, allowing yourself to uh, be open, be vulnerable, to be intuitive, and to allow others to provide support to you as well. It's all part of love, and it sounds like self-love uh, can help heal and can help guide you as well. So Virgo, this is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already, like, share, or comment, and um, have a fantastic week, and I hope that you'll join me next week for another reading.